go. Hey guys, Jeff here. Um, just a little quick tips on uh, on some of the other channels. Um, Color Up, uh, he did a really good job on tipping. Uh, for those of you that don't uh, tip or don't know how to tip, definitely watch that. Um, I always sit there and tip the people. Um, I start off with a uh, dollar in the pass line. I, I might work my way up, you know, doing this and that for them. But if they uh, if they don't deserve it, you know, they don't deserve it. Just like a restaurant, if they don't deserve it, don't tip them. Um, on Bone Thrower, his channel, he has a thing about dice and where you can get uh, the real casino dice where they actually make these dice here. Um, $20 a sleeve, he has a business card. You can look it up. Um, a funny thing about it is that one uh, that he did um, is a lot like I did uh, four months ago, but I did not give a place to get the real true casino dice, he does. And the, uh, the Road Gambler, Gambler, I like watching him. Um, he had a lot of money on the six and eight, and uh, the six only came up one time. The eight came up six times. Um, the four, however, came up five times. It's one of those ones as you watch someone roll and your number never comes up. Do you switch it? Do you stay? Um, you got to watch the end of it because it'll blow your mind at the very end. So my biggest thing is how do you sit there and make money? It's all we all want to do. Make money, have fun at the table. Of course, if you're not making money, you're not having fun, you might as well just not go. My biggest thing, my biggest goal was to make a thousand bucks um, a day. And sometimes you just have to take a break. Sometimes you have to you could play, and then you just have to sit there and say, you know what, I'm taking a break. And then you'll come back an hour later, or sometimes two hours later, or, or whatever. But that's what I, my goal was, a thousand, which I still think is doable. Um, but I'm going to have a smaller goal: um, how to make $500 in one one sitting. Um, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is just roll three three non sevens. 11, 12, 2, and 3 in a row, and then pull down your money. That's all you got to do. If you can do that five times, you'll win $500. It's that simple. Don't bet on anybody else's crap that they're throwing. Um, you're going to lose your ass in it. it. It just doesn't make sense. Don't play with, with, with them. Wait. Sometimes it takes 30 minutes for the dice to come back to you, but wait. So I'll show you how to really quickly do that. Um, this is a dice set I was really, I really would love to be able to throw this dice set and have it come out, um, it's called a hard way set, and have it come out hard um, as far as you have doubles. I have tried every which way to throw it, I've tried you know this way, I've tried this way, I just never ever can get it. The reason why, and the reason why this is such a dangerous throw, is because once it hits, if this guy goes this direction, and that guy goes that direction, you have a seven. Um, and that's what happens. Um, you get the dice rolling, and a lot of times they start rolling this direction, and a lot of times this guy here starts going that direction, and it opens it up via seven. I can't get them to roll straight and continue this force. So I thought about it, I tried all sorts of uh, dice rolls. Um, this is the one that seems to be easiest for me and simple is that. And you're going to pick it up and toss it that direction, have a little, little uh, light of a, of a backspin on it. That seems to work. It seems to be I can roll three times after the come out roll and show you how to make $500. There's a, this is $500. Of course, we're not going to be using it. It's going to be nice, quick, short, sweet. Um, it's a $5 table, um, $10 table. It doesn't really matter. We'll call it a five. If it's a $5 table, you can do this. That way, whatever you come out with, you're not going to lose anything except for the 12. There's really nothing you can do about that. But anything else you roll, you're not going to sit there and lose this money. The other way, which I always like playing, $5 or whatever the minimum is on the pass line, $2 on the C. If it is going to be a $10 pass line, um, 3 that pays uh, 7 to 1 would be fine or you know you have to adjust this here and what that does is if you uh, get a uh, a 12 11 you'll sit there and win money 
and then the money that you get reimburses this guy here and then I put more on the C and then I put more on the E. It's just a hedge bet. It is just a just in case if you lose this, however you want to call it. So two dollar on the C. Again, five hundred bucks. Um, we are playing at the Nugget. They do have the bonus, and their bonus minimum is a dollar. So I got small, tall, and all dollar minimum. So real quickly, um, you're going to sit there just like that. Grab the edge of it. And we're going to roll, come out rolls of five. That's on. And then we're going to sit there in place. Um, we're going to play, you know, the more aggressive play way is 160 across. So 160 across, you're going to put 25 on the four, 25 on the six. You're going to put 30, excuse me, 25 on the four, 25 on the five, 30 on the six, 30 on the eight, and 25 on the 9 and 10. This is just my place marker bets. That way I know I did roll a 5. Yeah, we got that showing. And I'll try not to roll the dice as I bring this down. Show you it's a 5. So now we want 3 more rolls. Don't hit 11, 12, don't hit a 3, a 2, a 7. We're good. If we can do this repeatedly five times in a row, we're going to leave the table at 500 or more dollars in one sitting. And five times around the table truly is nothing. There goes a 10. 10 is even better. Why is that a 10 even better? Because we make more money on that. We make um, 45 bucks on that. So I did it one time. 20, 30, 45. I did it one time. Just got to do two more times. And then once you uh, once you got the other two times, you're going to shut your bunny off. Then you're going to be working for these right here. These are very important. If you are very careful on how you roll, there's no reason why you can't hit a low or a high. And it all depends upon what die set you're using. Some die sets do more highs, some die sets do more lows. We have a hard eight. Well, I guess I shouldn't have reached it. Um, people think I'm cheating using weighted die, so well, it was a hard eight, believe me. I wouldn't cheat you guys. So it was a hard eight. Alrighty, that one right there is going to win, um, 30, what is it, 35 bucks, that's right, I don't have to think about it, 35, okay, one last time, one last time is all I got to do, and then I'm shutting down my money, of course I'm under pressure, this is live, I only want to do this one time, Got to think about it, know where I hit, and of course I got a 7. Again, um, it's a little different not being on the camera, but that's how you're going to do it. If that was something different, you shut your money off, you tell the dealer, shut it off, just like that. Again, I did it like 20 times yesterday, it didn't happen that way. There's other ways of doing it. If you're like, you know what? Having $160 is too much. I don't want to risk that kind of money. I fully understand. I fully understand. So sit there and just do 32 across. That's where you're going to sit there and place the minimum, which would be five bucks. Um, Six and eight will be six. And that's where you're going to start off with. After three hits, you're going to sit there and tell the dealer, turn it off. If, you're, if you say, you know what, 32 is too low, I can do another one higher, 64. 
64 would be double what we have here. Or you could sit there and do 96 across. There is a way to do progressive, and that way you start off small and you get it bigger. Progressive would be 32 across the first time, you win, you wait till you seven out, go around the table one time, the next time you do 64. Get your money three times, shut it off, wait till uh, you know, hit a seven, go around the table one more time, and the next time you're gonna raise it up to 96 times, uh, 96 across. 12 times is all you need to make $500. And again, if you're only doing 32, you lose that, you'll make it up on the next time. Just three rolls is all we got to do. And again, I'm under pressure. I don't want to do this roll again, but um, just do whatever roll that you feel comfortable that you can do at least uh, three times once the come out roll happens. Um, and when I was doing it, I actually got into the 20s. And you'll be thinking, well, if I left my, you know, my, my money on, how much money would have I made? You can't think that way because you don't want them to have all this right here. It takes you to roll not three times but six times if you lost that money. No reason to sit there and do that. So that's about all I have. Um, and uh, I got my new table down. Um, I don't know if you heard how it rolls or see how it rolls. But it seems to be like uh, the ones that we do in Vegas. Of course we like Golden Nugget. Um, just because they do have this small, tall, and all, and it is a $1 minimum. If you go to the Boulder stations or any of the stations, I think their minimum is $5 for the small, $5 for the tall, and $5 for all. And that is just, you know, if that's what you're trying to do, that's risking 20 bucks because you'll have five here and 15 up there each and every time. Whereas at the Golden Nugget, you're only risking eight bucks every time and uh, do whatever it takes to sit there and try to make this the same. I did not glue my my pyramids down yet. I'm going to keep on rolling, um, get to the habit of, of listening to how it rolls, listening, you know, watching how it rolls, and then when we go back to the Golden Nugget, I'm going to watch again. Um, is it rolling like the way theirs rolls? And if it doesn't, then I'm going to have to take it back up and try again. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it, but then again, you don't know until you go back. And I can't bring my table in and set it right next to their table and, and do different shots. But that's what you're trying for. You're trying for the same roll, same consistency, um, and uh, now you know where to get the dice. Thanks, Bone Thrower. Um, and uh, that's about it. Thanks, guys, and have a good one.